For joy, we feel good. We feel good about ourselves. We appreciate ourselves. We can take action and speak up. With love, we feel open hearted. We accept. And it's not acceptance that's passivity. It's I accept, and now what do I need to do about it? We also appreciate and respect what people and things are doing, and we give. The ex ultimate expression of love is giving, selfless giving. And for peace, we feel peace when we are in the present, when we're staying specific. This concept of specifics is so important. We use specifics in engineering, in architecture, in medicine, in cooking, um, uh, directions, ever, you know, basically everything is in specifics, but nobody told us to communicate in specifics and to think in specifics. But this was what will help to bring peace. We're not dealing with these size problems, we're dealing with just what one thing in front of me, one thing at a time. Say so we got to become a, a big <coughs> shakers and shivers, and especially, because I've got to tell you that, um, you know, I do a lot of teaching, but for some reason, I started to get really nervous a couple of days ago, and now that's a fear thing. And so, and I found that I was waking up these last couple mornings at like four in the morning. It's like, oh my gosh. So I'm, oh, I better practice what I preach. So I get out of bed, go and pee, and then I shook and shivered like for a couple of minutes, like that, making sounds, because there's just sounds there. You know, I just hammed it up, and literally, I went back to sleep in less than five minutes. I just like my head hit the pillow, but my mind was now calm. I wasn't obsessing, oh, I better add that line here, and oh, I need a little bit more of this. I, my mind was free, my body was calm, and I went back to sleep. You can use hinge anger. So you can go the, into the bathroom when you're in your office or something, and now you're really frustrated. Take the door, the hinge of the, of the stall, and shake it up, ah, ah. and you're not going to break anything, but you're going to feel so much better. Then you can go trotting back out, now, now what were you saying, and what problem do we need to solve? <laughs> because you ha it's not, you're not getting snotty, and you're not getting belligerent. You're just moving that energy out of the body to a safe place and move that energy out, because I think that we see the impact in the emergency room, in the news, of people not getting their anger. We might be entertaining thoughts like this, you know, oh, you know, and how many times have we said these thoughts to ourselves? You know, oh, I'm fat. You know, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, that, you know, that person's an idiot. And, you know, we just have those kind of tapes that we just have said so many times. It's the framework that we've had rather than expressing what our emotions were. But those things are not bringing joy, love, and peace. We can use two things to, get, to change our thoughts. One, we need a truth, a reliable truth. And the other thing we need is a way to internalize that truth. We look for that opposites. If a person says, I'm unlovable, I'm unlovable, if that's their core tape, well, what's the opposite? What's really that's true? I'm whole and complete, I'm a good person, whatever. But the uh, reliable truth has to be unequivocally true. We can internalize a reliable truth by, it's, it really is like meditation, by repeating it over and over again, and when all the discounting thoughts come up, we don't pay attention. It's like with meditation, we don't pay attention to, oh, I hear that sound over here, and oh, now I'm thinking about what's for dinner. What we do is we stay focused on what we're trying to internalize. If we just get that these emotions, these six emotions are just energy, and if we just move the sadness, anger, and fear out of our body, we will have so much more space for joy, love, and peace. So one is it's just energy. These emotions are just energy that I have to get out of my body. I believe that every prison Every hospital, every school needs a place where people can go and move their emotions. We have a choice about what we think. So this is the second point. I can think crummy thoughts or I can think thoughts that are going to be helpful. And you choose and you just have to substitute them in. And the third point is that you can't help but feel more joy, love, and peace if you just practice.